All right, CNT125, Network Management Wireless Lab. We just got done doing our network map, our subnetting and our network map. So we're now going to connect into our first devices for configuration. Now, reminder, cable up, um, cable up your router and switch. Okay, cable up your router and switch. Pay attention to your port numbers. Um, I'm using the 4221 router just to give you a heads up. Um, I'm not actually configuring any voice, so I can use either router. Uh, we're going to configure the network to support voice. We're just not going to add the phones in. Um, so I'm using the 4221. Pay attention to your port numbers that you're cabling up. Um, 000 on my router to the switch port 24. 001 to the college or ISP. Okay. Um, I then tell you here, don't worry about getting the access point or phones or anything like that. Again, we're not hooking up phones. Um, and we will get the access point later. We're going to get the network configured to support it all, and then we will add these devices in. Um, and I, I don't, I actually have my workstations plugged in to my switch, but you can wait on that for now. Uh, I plugged one, one PC into VLAN 10 port and a PC into a VLAN 30 port is what I did. Um, that's what I did just in case you want to know what my plan is. All right, I'm consoling into my switch, and we're going to get a name on here, IP, some passwords, and some VLANs. So I first connect in. Do I want to enter initial configuration dialog? No. Nope. I don't want to use the setup program. So enable, config T. We're going to give this a host name. And I think on this one we're calling it wireless LAN switch. Uh, we want to do a IP address, so interface VLAN 1. IP address on this guy. I'm looking at my map. Okay, I'm using my 192.168.0.2. My subnet mask, 248.0. We'll do a no shutdown to bring that IP address online. Okay, once we have that, we're going to put in our enable password and then our user account and telnet access. So enable secret class slow down make sure you have it all typed correctly here enable secret class make sure there's no spaces or anything out there okay and then hit your enter key so we just put an enable password on of class let's create our local user account so username i'm going to use my first name you probably want to do the same thing and we're going to set a password a password so username will be doug and the password we're setting is password. Okay. Again, make sure there's no extra spaces, characters, etc. We'll do that. Now we'll enable Telnet access. So line VTY 015. And the main reason we're doing this is uh, most of our lab switches don't support SSH. Um, so we're at least doing Telnet so we can Telnet in for configuration purposes later, later in the lab. Um, in real life, we would be using SSH like we will be on the router. Uh, so line V2Y015, transport, input, S, oops, <laughs> look at me. I was starting to put in SSH in there. Telnet, there we go. Transport input, Telnet. We're going to do login local, meaning we're going to use this local account that we just created, this username Doug password password. Um, and that's what the person will need to plug in to be able to access. So exit, we now need our VLANs, VLAN 10. Name employee, exit, VLAN 20, name voice, exit, VLAN 30, name wireless. So there's my three VLANs created. Now we need to put, put them in the appropriate port ranges or grab the appropriate ports and put them in the VLAN. So look at my map here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Ports 1 to 10 are going to be for employee VLAN 10. And we're also going to stack the voice VLAN on top, just like we did for the IP, IP phone lab. So we're going to do these very carefully. We'll say interface range FA0 slash 1 space dash 10. So we're going to take the first 10 ports. Let's put the employee VLAN on first. So switch port access VLAN 10. So we're now saying, hey, um, if there's a computer on here, put them in VLAN 10. And we now want to put the voice on top, but we have to do it carefully. Switch port voice VLAN 20. So it now says, hey, if there's a phone here, put that traffic in VLAN 20. 
and those two will stack on top of each other now. Let's do the interface range for the wireless. Wireless is 15 to 20. I left a handful of ports in the middle not used right now because we're going to leave them in VLAN 1 uh, for some, um, some management later that we're going to do. So we'll now say switch port access VLAN 30 for those guys. Only thing left is our trunk port. So interface, phase teeth, and zero size 20, uh, 24. Switch port mode trunk. Okay. Let's do an exit. Let's do an exit. It's going to show this down because the router is not configured yet. And that's fine. That's all right. There's my enable secret. There's my local account that we created. Here's my VLANs. This is what I should be seeing. Access VLAN 10, voice VLAN 20, Yahoo. Down here, we have VLAN 30 for these ports. We have trunking on 24. We have our IP address here, and here is our Telnet access. We are in great shape. We're going to save that. We will come back in the next podcast and work on the router.